Hello everybody, this is Dr. Aaron Seaton with The Chiropractic Place. Today's video is about auto accidents. Uh, we see a lot of these cases in our office, people presenting with whiplash injuries, neck pain, back pain. So it's very important for us to help educate the general population about what to do if you're in an auto accident, what are your options, and kind of what's the best course of care, what's the best plan for you to make sure that you get better. Um, there are a lot of people who develop chronic permanent injuries from auto accidents that were not managed properly. So that is something that we have to talk about in order for people to better understand if you're in a car accident, if you've been injured with whiplash or neck pain, whatever it is, that we need to understand how to properly take care of that so you're not one of those people left with chronic permanent and sometimes debilitating pain. Um, so the first thing that I like to talk to patients about, and this is throughout the peer-reviewed literature, is don't wait. One of the biggest predictors for a successful outcome from recovering from one of these injuries is did you seek care within the first 30 days of being injured? And why is that important? Well. What you don't want to have happen is you don't want to immobilize that tissue. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. Like if you hurt your neck, I'm just going to keep my neck still for, for weeks and weeks. If you do that and you immobilize, you increase the chances of develop, developing scar tissue, scar tissue adhesions. And that type of scar tissue long term can become permanent. So one of the things about that don't wait and seek out care within the first 30 days is that we want to mobilize the tissue. That's what the peer-reviewed literature says. We want to mobilize the tissue, make sure we're not letting scar tissue form so that proper type 1, type 2 collagen is forming in that tissue and that we're keeping blood flow to that area while it's healing. Great ways to help mobilize the tissue and the, the things that we utilize in our office for our uh, car accident cases is that we like to use a combination of chiropractic care and massage therapy on a consistent basis for that first 30 days to make sure we are preventing scar tissue formation. And once our patients are at a, a stable position where we feel that we can start adding some exercises in there, we like to recommend home exercises and stuff to strengthen those muscles around that injured area to help rehabilitate those muscles. Because when you're in a bad whiplash injury like that, if, if say we're dealing with the neck, sometimes those muscles are kind of shut off, so to speak, after that injury. So what we want to do with those shut off muscles is turn them back on. And that's what the exercise helps us do. Once we get the patient to a, a comfortable position and they're, they've progressed properly through their care, we like to add those exercises in and just keep that tissue moving. Because once again, all of that, keeping the tissue mobile and keeping it moving properly, all is linked to this right here. What the peer-reviewed literature says is don't wait, keep it mobile, don't let it develop scar tissue. The other thing I talk to patients about, which is also throughout the literature on this, is that a lot of patients that have whiplash injuries, they tend to, f um, or uh, that have car accidents, excuse me, tend to have PTSD this is actually really, really prevalent. You'll notice if, if you have a friend or a family member that's been in a, a tough car accident, they might be nervous to drive. You could be driving them around and they might get really nervous, sweaty palms. A lot of my patients describe, Doc, I put my hands on the steering wheel. I was needed to get my kids to school or whatever it is. And my hands just started sweating. I just, I just froze. And those are the signs of PTSD. If somebody is extremely nervous to drive again, hesitant, um, still, when they think about the accident, they're having, you know, kind of reliving it. It's important for us to acknowledge that because that is a very real thing. And again, with PTSD, just like with the injury here, the sooner you seek out some care for that, see a psychologist that can help you through that process, the better. Because the longer you wait, the worse that can get. Just like the longer you wait with whiplash, the worse it can get. So hopefully these answer some questions about when you have a car accident, what to do. If you have any questions, give us a call. We've seen these cases for years. We understand the process. We're happy to answer any questions you have. I'm Dr. Aaron Seaton with The Chiropractic Place.